Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. You may be asking why I'm carrying these two snakes around. Well, the fact is, is today is the big day. This is a pastel leopard clown. This is a pastel lesser clown. And these two got together a few months back and had some eggs. So for the last couple months, I have been waiting for this day. I'm hoping with any luck that we're gonna produce a super pastel lesser leopard clown. This gorgeous male here is the pastel leopard clown ball python. Now clown ball pythons are a recessive mutation, super cool. They have that like dorsal striping, really crazy head pattern. And they're one of the more popular animals in the ball python trade. And then the leopard is actually a co-dominant mutation along with the pastel, making for just an absolutely gorgeous snake. But it's a really great building block for something bigger and better. And similarly, this is the pastel lesser clown ball python. Again, pastel lesser co-dominant and the clown recessive ball python. When you can start mixing these animals and getting different genes and layering genes, they can really make for some stunning animals. I really do think the clown mutations are some of the most stunning and unbelievable mutations of all ball pythons. And today we get to see if the magic is right. You gotta remember when you start mixing and layering, it's a lot of odds, right? You know, we know that because they're both recessive clowns, everything is gonna be clown. But we've got the pastel in there, we've got the lesser, we've got the leopard. Are they gonna layer? Are we gonna mix? the odds? Are they going to be normals? Are they going to be super pastels? Are they going to be crazy? We don't know. It's definitely been something that for the last two months has been on my mind. I've been dying for this day and I cannot wait to get into some egg cutting and seeing if those odds gods are in our favor. And to kind of break things down, this is a clown ball python and this is a pastel clown ball python. Now with this particular pairing, we could get clowns, we could get pastel clowns, we could get the super pastel clowns, which is the double dose of clowns, we could get lesser clowns, we could get pastel lesser clowns, super pastel lesser clowns, super pastel leopard clowns. We could even get the super pastel lesser leopard clown, which is what we're really searching for. But this guy is fired up. I mean, what is wrong with you? Uh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the tub this morning. But regardless, it's definitely a long shot to hit that all gene animal. But with any luck, at least with eight eggs, we'll get at least one of the super pastel lesser leopard clown ball pythons. It's going to be amazing. But first, I actually have to do a quick tour. It's a busy day. We've got three tours today. Going to hit that tour. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this ball python clod. And my tour is in the house. How you doing? Good. What's your name? Raphael. Raphael? Alina. It's so good to meet you. Where are you guys from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for coming. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. Look at a whole bunch of animals, right? Ready? All right, let's get it going. so nice about this clutch is that the worst animal I could possibly produce is a clown ball python and of course with all the combinations we should have some really cool stuff I was definitely excited from the day that this clutch was laid so let's just jump into it hopefully I'll be able to make sense of what's going on here it's gonna be absolutely incredible so first egg here what do we have it's already a very light animal I can see that for sure Ooh. Wow, that's crazy light. Oh my God, I'm just gonna move this around just a little tiny bit. So this is definitely, oh my gosh, that thing is beautiful. This is definitely a super pastel, so a killer clown. It's definitely a lesser clown. So it's a super pastel lesser clown, possibly a leopard. It's gonna be really hard to see what the leopard is, to be honest with you, because in the egg, you know, you have to really look at the pattern. The leopard's gonna make more of a striping and a little bit of dotting on the side, and you can't tell completely, but I think there's a good chance that right off the rip, we might've hit the all gene animal. Nevertheless, we know that these eggs are gonna be ridiculous. Wow, I can't even believe that. All right, I'm gonna jump into egg number two. I'm not sure we could top that one, guys. I don't know, again, but you never know what we're gonna be producing here. So every egg is gonna be a complete an utter surprise. Ooh, again. Are you kidding me right now? Now this one I am almost positive is the Super Pastel Leopard Lesser Clown. I am like 99.9% .9 sure that that's what this one is. Oh my gosh. I think we might've hit the first two eggs, the all gene animal. Wow. Now I can't wait till these guys hatch out. I mean, it's gonna be ridiculous. Let's just keep on cutting. Wow, I tell you what, this clutch is starting to be one of the best clutches I could have ever imagined. And guess what, guys? Are you kidding me right now? 
I, th this one, a hundred percent. You can see with the little dotting on it and the way it says, this one is 100% a super pastel lesser leopard clown. I think we hit three of them out of three eggs, which is ridiculous. I mean, that is crazy odds, but this one, you can really see the pattern and everything like that. That is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I, I'm blown away, guys. I mean, like legitimately, I was excited about this clutch and now I'm over the moon. So again, you know, I knew there was gonna be no bad animals in this clutch, but the fact that we've been hitting some crazy stuff is just ridiculous. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a killer clown, a super pastel clown. It's possibly, oh yeah, it looks like it's a leopard too. So this is a super pastel leopard clown. Wow, man, I tell you what, bonkers. This thing is bonkers for sure. All right, we got three eggs to go. I, I should stop now because I'll be honest with you, this has just been so absolutely incredible. What do we have here? What do we have here? Okay, so th this one is actually a pastel clown, possibly a leopard pastel clown. So it's just the one pastel. This is the first one that wasn't a super pastel and the thing, and I'm pretty sure it's a leopard. So I think it's a pastel leopard clown. I tell you what, the odds have been ridiculous in this clutch. So let's go ahead, two more eggs. Let's finish this out strong. I mean, gosh, this is crazy, people. Absolutely crazy. Ooh, it looks like another really beautiful snake. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me right now. Let's see if we can just get it move around a little bit. Again, it looks like a super pastel lesser leopard clown. It looks like we got four of those guys. Again, until they hatch out, we don't know for sure. That's just in the egg. That's what it looks like. Looks like we have four of them. And then we have, oh my God, this is crazy. Last egg, people. I'm freaking out because this is so absolutely amazing. I couldn't in my wildest dreams wish that this clutch would have turned out any differently. And then, okay, so what do we have here? We have, uh, let's see, it looks like just a killer clown, but it actually looks like there's a good chance it's a super pastel leopard clown so a killer leopard clown wow guys i mean i hope that you guys were as blown away at this clutch as i was because this may be one of the coolest clutches that i've ever hatched out as far as every egg was absolutely spectacular absolutely amazing i knew it was going to be great but it didn't think in a million years it was going to be as good as it turned out so wow uh it, that was amazing let me know in the comments what you guys think and what animal you're the most excited out of this clutch to see hatch out just a real quick shout to jay's instagram channel remember when he actually gets to 5,000. We are going to be giving away a print of your choosing that is signed by me and Jay. Uh, so go ahead, show him some love over at Jay Tomsky, uh, right down here. Uh, link in the description. Got my next tour in the house. How are you guys doing? What's Where your you names? Think? I'm Alex. Alex. And Kimmy. Kimmy. All right. Where are you guys from? Southern yeah. Indiana. <laughs> Southern Indiana. All right. Well, thank you for coming. We're going to see a bunch of cool stuff. You ready to go? Oh yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> getting ready to pull up trick and strip i know i told you guys i was going to try and work with him a little bit more often so um i'm actually going to try and get him out now you we all know he, he freaks out he comes out he, he just starts running and really acts a fool i'm hoping that if what i'm going to do is i don't want to corner him i don't want to scare him more than he's already scared and i wanted to encourage him to come out maybe tire him out a little bit work with him a little bit i'm going to i'm going to even pull on his tail a little bit to hold him where i need him to be but i'm going to try and keep that to a minimum and then eventually get him on my hands so let's go ahead and get right into it we're going to actually do that right now so he's up on the top there, which isn't always the best place because he likes to fly at me all the time, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hey bud. So uh, if you notice, I'm, I'm smacking the walls and stuff. I'm trying to announce my presence to him so he knows I'm coming in. I'm coming in, buddy. Now the key really is honestly to be really calm with him. You can tell he's already freaking out a lot. Easy, easy. Easy. Well, he's always gonna get this way. He's always gonna freak out and stress out and try to go for me like that. I, w I don't want him to though. So as much as fun it is to see me get bit, uh, the more minimum I can keep this, the better. I'm trying to provide that surface for him. See, there he goes. And now, look, it, it, it doesn't take that much. You just tire him out like this. And so like basically what I wanna do at this point is you see how he's puffing up, see the neck going, his mouth going, to the tongue's coming out real fast. There's no rolling of that tongue. Um, so what I, what I wanna do is I wanna hold him and eventually I actually, once it starts to calm down, he starts to 
roll that tongue a little slower and he's, that, that puffing doesn't happen as often. As soon as that starts going, I believe it or not, I'm actually gonna put him right back up. I don't hold him for very long after that because what I want to do is I wanna keep that positive interaction. Always, 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 and leave it that way. I never wanna hold him long enough to where he's just gonna flip out again. All right, guys, so we actually got cut chicken strip nice and calm. You actually see him now. He's not quite so puffy and stuff, so he's a little bit more calm. He's looking around. He's a lot more curious, that's for sure. And uh, he's actually even letting me put my hand under his chin without him taking a bite at me and stuff. So like, clearly he's not too terribly afraid anymore. Anymore. He's just started to calm down like all right, so how do I get away from this guy? Well chicken strip here, which is my command I'm gonna let you go ahead and go back in buddy So like I really want to let him in and let him let him sort of go off my hand on his own So he could very well turn around and run right back out if he wants to and if that's what happens Then so be it and we're gonna continue to work with him and he's gonna continue to sort of be like this There you go Good boy Notice I don't encourage him to move or anything like that Like he, he's just sitting there hanging out and he's just gonna go hide back there and get puffy and scared of everything He's a sweetheart. Oh, that's so awesome. Last tour of the day is in the house. How are you guys doing? Yeah, great. It's yeah. so great to meet you guys. Where are you from? Boston. Boston? We had someone from Massachusetts earlier today. Nice. That's wow. crazy. How wild is that? Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. And we're going to have a good time, right? Yeah. yeah. Michael, thank let's, you. let's thank do it. Let's do it. You. Three tours today were absolutely incredible. Had a really, really good time. I love that part of my job, there's no doubt about that. But now we actually have to open up for the Reptarium for the night to the public. We're having a great time here at the Reptarium and I hear, what's your name? Lily. What's your name? Kylie. What's your name? Danielle. And I heard you skip the birthday party to come yes. here. Oh, that's a, that's a good choice, yeah? Yes. All right, you guys are awesome, all right? Thank you guys for coming, all right? Awesome. Okay, so it's that time where we're gonna go ahead and feed the big snakes for everybody. Uh, let's hope this works out well, okay? So, uh, wish me luck. Come on, girl. Uh oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? What's she doing? Uh oh. What are you doing? Wow. <laughs> All right. So that's one. We're gonna do the next one is gonna be one where we toss a rabbit to a snake right over there, and then we're gonna feed two others, okay? Here she comes. Whoa. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this one's a little more energetic, right? Okay, you guys can stay right here because I'm gonna feed this one down here, okay? And finally, Daisy. Well, actually, not finally, we're gonna try to feed Ivy as well. So Daisy is up right now. Come on, Daisy. Come on, girl. You want? There you go, baby. See, she's pretty gentle. Now the last one's gonna be harder for people to see, but I'm gonna to try to feed this anaconda that's tucked up in the corner. Yes. There you go. <laughs> I tell you what, that was one insane clutch of clown ball pythons. I cannot wait till they hatch out. I will certainly share it with you guys. If you guys enjoyed that egg cutting, here's a video with another clutch of eggs I cut earlier in the year. Here's an entire playlist of me egg cutting. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, can you turn those post notifications on? Have a wonderful day. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.